Hi everyone and this is John with a quick video on the I've just downloaded the demo of um, Perfect Photo Suite 7 which came out today um, now I've got this image that I've actually edited and it's fully edited in my opinion but I thought I'd run it through the new filter which is called um, if you go to file these are all the new filters that I'm going to be reviewing over the next couple of days. But the first one is a Perfect Portrait, which is meant to be like Portrait Professional. Now, basically, I'm not going to go too much into detail, but I'm going to open Perfect Portrait and see what it can do. As you can see, it's a demo of this, so we'll click the demo and let it get to work. And it's automatically finding the features of the face. And I've just watched that there. And it seems to have done a very good job. Now, you've got your settings down here on the side. So, we'll just remember that the eyes are on 50. So, we turn that up. Oh, look at those eyes really popping. So, we'll leave it default for now. I'm not really going to go into the um, controls just yet. But there actually isn't a great deal of controls which is quite good because on portrait professional there's a lot more controls um, which could be a good thing it, it depends how much and how intensely you want to um, edit your portrait um, so you've got you've got your skin smoothing I'm not I'm just gonna leave it default for now and I'm gonna cancel that um, and it okay and I'm just gonna quit out of Photoshop and I'm good I'm gonna show you um, the images so if we command A and we open with preview. So we'll, uh, can we go big there? Right, so there's my edit out of the camera. Then if I remember correctly, we've got, I'll go before, you'll have to watch this now, are you ready? Watch the eyes and everything else. So I'm, I'm going to my edit. Um, that is perfect portrait. The one we've just been looking at, out of the camera, no, no edit, no messing, just default. And you can see, it's a nice little tweak to those eyes. Um, I don't like, it's took the darkness off of the makeup, if you look at the eyelashes. But I'm sure you could, that's just a quick tweak. Um, but it's made a world of a difference to the eyes and the teeth and the mouth, look. But watch when I go to Portrait Professional, and this is out of automatic as well. Look at the difference that Portrait Professional does. So you've got the new plugin by On One, which is Perfect Portrait 2, or you've got Portrait Professional. Look at the difference. Portrait Professional really does take things to another level. But to be fair, um, I quite like the look of the perfect portrait because it hasn't really altered the face construction in any way. It's just given a nice little boost and pop to the eyes and soften the skin in a very subtle way. Uh, so it's a lot more subtle where portrait professional, I mean I like portrait professional, it has an half. It is good as well but it, as you can see it does alter things. Um, so let me just um, just go delete number two. Can we delete number two from there? I don't want to move it to trash. I just want it to close that one. Oh, there you go. Right, let's go back up now. So we can go back to the original, which is what I edited, and then go to Portrait Professional. There's a massive, a massive jump, but that Portrait Professional is out of the default setting as well. So I just loaded it in, told it where the eyes were and the mouth, and that's how it came out. So I'll let you decide. I mean, Portrait Professional's done a great job as well. Um, it's more, it's a lot more retouched though that that version there than I'd like. I don't retouch that hard. Um, I think it might look good in front of a a magazine or something that much. Um, she'd probably like it better like that. Um, but yeah, I'll review the other on one plugins over the next couple of days. Um, I do like the subtleness that it did. Portrait Professional's fantastic as well. I, I mean, they're both great. Um, but I'm sure you can manage it. On Perfect Portrait 2, I don't think you can adjust the face where on Portrait Professional you can. But look at that. I mean, that is Portrait Professional. To be fair, nobody had ever known you'd 
that you did anything with the face. And I'm just trying to look to see if the face actually does look better. It does, yeah. It gives it like a tuck in at the bottom, but it's she doesn't really need it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. And over the next couple of days, I'll I'll review the perfect for Suite Seven next plugin. Uh, rest of the plugins like there's meant to be the good black and white one there. Um, that's meant to be fantastic. So we'll have a look at that as well, and we'll have a look at the effects and stuff like that. And then maybe I'll do a video showing you how to use it. But to be fair, on that perfect for uh, on that perfect portrait too, they just seen them sliders over there. Um, you can paint the effect in and out. Um, it seemed pretty dead easy, which to be honest, that's what you want, isn't it? I'm not one of these retouchers that I know people that'll spend hours just retouching an image. I just want to spend five minutes tops on any image and have it ready to go. And looking at what the uh, the perfect photo suite. Looking at them all, I mean, if looking at that version there, that perfect portrait did, I mean, that's good enough for me. But then you've got an extreme there with perf uh, portrait professional. I'd say portrait professional, in my opinion, is better. But I, I don't know. I'd probably rather use the other one because I like more subtle effects. But that's down to each individual photographer. I'll say it again. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.